Hi everyone! And again, welcome to my YouTube channel, okay? And our topic for this video is uh, project tile. And we will solve this tricky problem into a simple solution, okay? So, let's start. A gold ball is hit down at 20 degrees inclined as shown below. Initial velocity of the gold ball is 40 meters per second and acting at an angle of 55 degrees from the inclined plane. Neglecting air resistance, compute the maximum height reached by the ball. Okay? When we say maximum height, it is when the ball reaches the vertical component of velocity is equal to zero. Okay? Since this one, upward movement siya, move pa siya in pataas, and then, pag na-reach niya na yung zero, zero na velocity ng Y component, dun na siya mag start pa luba. So, the transition of moving up and to moving down. Kaya nagsi-zero yung velocity. Zero velocity in terms of Y direction. Okay? So, let's move this uh, ball. Okay? Pag nag-stop, uh, nung nag-stop na, that is yung location na yan ang maximum height na kinukuha and tanong sa number 1 okay and then compute the time takes the ball to strike at B so mag strike siya into a point B okay pero ang tinatanong na time is the time from A to B okay and then question number 3 compute the distance between A and B this one A to B okay so, before natin i-continue, let's discuss first the tools or the formulas for project plan, okay? So, this one, A is the initial location, B is the highest location, and C is the final location of an object. Okay, so, formula number one, so, uh, uh, horizontal component of velocity is equal to the initial horizontal component of velocity. Okay, so from this formula, that the horizontal velocity is constant. Yun lang. Okay? So, hindi nagbabago yung horizontal component of velocity. Kung anong horizontal component niya, dito sa initial, siya, ang, siya, ang, siya rin ang horizontal component niya into tip, into the final location or any location dito. This one. Okay? So, yun yung formula natin una. And then, next formula is equal to x is equal to bxt. So, yun nga, since uh, the, the horizontal components is constant, multiply lang natin siya ng time. Okay? So, pag binigay sa atin ang time, uh, say, binigyan tayo ng time dito, this part, ang ibibigay sa atin ng time is from this one, yung tapat niya, hanggang dito. Okay? So, that's it. Next Next question is equal to, next uh, formula, I mean, is equal to V squared sine 2 theta over G. Okay, so this X is, is the distance from A to C, provided that A and C is at the same level. Okay, so given the velocity and then the angle, the angle of release, okay, makukuha natin agad ang X. Okay. Basta, yun lang, provided that the A and C is on the same level. Okay? So, next is equal to, next is the Y is equal to H plus uh, the initial uh, velocity of uh, horizontal uh, multiplied by T less 1 half GT squared. Okay? Anong ba difference dito, nitong Y and H natin? Ayun kasi yung 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 tanong okay so this formula is ginagamit siya pag may difference uh, ang elevation ng a and c natin okay so gaya dito sa problem natin ang a natin hindi siya level into b meaning the initial location is different uh, may, may difference in elevation siya dito sa final location okay so applicable yung formula na yan and, and explain natin kung ano ang y and 
h okay so let's draw dito ang ano ang cartesian coordinate natin since sa cartesian natin ang x may positive may negative ang y may positive and negative okay importante yon okay let's say nandito ang coordinates natin ng 0 0 natin at this point so okay from this uh, from this okay ang y natin is this one Ang h natin is 0. Why? Okay. The the y is the distance from our assume reference to the final location. Okay? The the, the vertical distance between our reference to the final location, okay? And h is same. Uh, the the distance or the vertical distance from our reference to the initial location. Ito naman is from sa initial location niya. So, kung dito ang reference natin to compute, okay, so may value tayo ng, ng y, pero wala tayong value ng h kasi nasa same level siya ng, ng horizontal natin dito sa uh, ginawa natin na reference. Okay? So, yun, this, yun ang formula na para dyan. And then next is the uh, component of y, component of velocity along y is equal to component of velocity, of the initial velocity along y less gt. Okay, the next is the, the time of a to b, this one, a to b is equal to this one, the initial, uh, the initial component of uh, the, the horizontal component of initial velocity over g. Okay, next. Next formula from a to c. So, the time to a to b is equal to time from b to c. Okay, so from ito, times 2 lang din to, tong time from a to b natin, since a to b and b to c is, is equal in terms of time. Okay, and then the last formula is c equal to so, h is equal to b squared sine squared theta over 2g. Ito yung h na to. This one. The maximum, uh, uh, we can compute the h using the velocity and the angle. Okay? So, let's compute. Compute the maximum height reaches by the ball. I think question number one is uh, madali lang, direct substitution lang tayo using our last formula. This one. Okay, so given lahat, given ang velocity natin, and then ang theta natin, and the g is the specific gravity. And okay, substituting the given values, v is equal to 40 meter per second, and squared sine squared theta is equal to uh, theta is equal to 35 over 2g. So the maximum height reaches from the location or the original or initial location is 26.8. 29 meter. Okay. So next question, compute the time takes the ball strike at point P. So ito na yung medyo tricky dito sa problem natin. Okay. So paano natin compute is wala tayong value ng y. Okay. The only given is the velocity in its angle. Okay. And then the, yeah, meron naman tayo ng value ng y but in terms of x. Okay. Since meron tayong angle given ang angle. Okay? As mentioned kanina, pag di, may difference in elevation, ang karaniwang ginagamit na formula, but dependent sa tanong pa rin, is this one. So, y is equal to h plus the initial, uh, the, the horizontal component of the initial velocity multiplied by time less, one half gt squared. Galing dito. Okay? So, uh, meron tayo nito. Nung initial horizontal component ng velocity, wala tayong time. So, this one is in terms of time. So, this one, meron tayong g in terms of time pa rin. H, wala tayong H, zero. And then, y is yun lang. Y then wala pa tayong value nito. But, ang target natin dito is uh, this y uh, should be, dapat makakuha tayo ng value ng y in terms of t. Why? Ba bakit kailangan natin gawin yun? Since, pag nakakuha tayo dito na in terms of y, in terms, uh, in terms of t, 
in terms of t, in terms of t, we only have one variable or one unknown, which is the t. Kaya makakompute na natin yung value ng t. Okay? So, ang target natin is y, uh, to get the value of y in terms of t. Okay? So, ang pwede lang natin makuha in, uh, na value ng y is in terms of x. So, may relation siya dito sa x using the angle 20. Okay? And then, x, we can get the value of x in terms of t using this formula. Since meron tayong uh, velocity of x, which is constant. Okay? So, pag meron tayo rito, may, uh, x is in terms of t and y in terms of t. And then, substitute natin dito. Ayun, tapos ang ating uh, problema. Ito lang yung medyo tricky dito kung paano isosolve to. Kung, pero pag nakuha na yung idea na ganun, I think very simple na tong problem na to. Okay? So, the relation nito. So, let this triangle. Okay? So, the relation of x and y is the tangent of 20 is equal to y and x. That is the opposite over the adjacent. Okay? And then, rearranging y is equal to x tangent 20 degrees. This one. Okay? And then, uh, itong x naman, kailangan nating mapalitan ng in terms of t. Okay? So, x is equal to the x component of velocity multiplied by time and x component of velocity, meron tayo nyan, which is the 4, 40 cosine 35. Okay? Multiplied by t. And then, this value of x, substitute natin dito. Then, we will have the value of y is equal to 40 cosine 35t and then tangent 20 degrees. Okay? So, meron na tayong value nitong y and then meron na tayo dito in terms of t, in terms of t, h is 0 substituting. Okay? So, ang y natin is this one mula dito and then h is 0. And then the, this one, the initial velocity of y component is 40 sine 35 multiplied by t and g is 9.81 t is squared. Okay, question, bakit negative dito? Negative y, okay? So, it, 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 ayun na yung purpose ng paglagay natin dito ng, ng Cartesian plane, okay? So, dito ang 0, 0 natin, alam naman natin, pagpababa, it is a negative. Kaya, magiging negative yan. Okay? Pag, gawa, pag ginawa kasi natin positive yan, may effect lahat eh. Kasi ito na yung naging reference natin lahat sa computation eh. Okay? So, yun. Uh, rearranging and simplifying. And then, we will get this one. Itong 4. Ito. Ito siya. Yung naka t squared. Ito pagsamahin natin since may pares variable na t. And then, this one. Lipat sa kabila. This, so, ito siya. 9... Uh, 9.81 by 2 is equal to 4.905 t squared. And this one is equal to, okay. So, this one, this 34 is from the 40 sine 35 plus 40 cosine 35 tangent 20. So, ayan na yun. Okay, so may t squared tayo dito and this one is t. Okay, cancel yung isa. Makukuha na lang tayo ng value ng t which is equal to T is equal to 7.1089 seconds. Okay? So, meron na tayong T from here to here. And we can now easily solve the value of X using the computed value of T. Okay? From the formula. Since constant nga ang value ng or the uh, X component of velocity ng, ng along X is uh, we can use this formula. X is equal to V, v the component, velocity of X multiplied by the time. Okay, substituting. So, 40 cosine 35. And then the time is this one. Okay? So, makukuha natin ang X is equal to, this one is equal to uh, 232.9293 meter. Okay? So, next is... Uh, meron na tayong x and meron tayong angle here. Angle 20. So, anong relation nila para makompute natin yung number 3? Anong relation ng EB into x? The, ang relation nila is 
in cosine. Since cosine of theta is equal to uh, adjacent over the hypotenuse of this right triangle. The hypotenuse is AB and then the adjacent is the X. Okay, and then meron na tayong X. Okay. Uh, rearranging and substituting AB is equal to X is 1. And then the cosine theta, bababa siya, which is a cosine of 20. Okay. So AB is equal to 247.8782 meters. So I think, nasolve na natin lahat. And let's have a recap. Compute the maximum height reaches by the ball. So the answer is 26.829 meter. Compute the time takes the ball to strike at point B. Okay, so the time is 7.1089 seconds okay and the last compute the distance between a and b okay so the distance is 247.8782 meter okay and i think that's all for the topic for today and i hope that you enjoy watching and at the same time uh, it give you an idea for this kind of problem okay Again, don't forget to subscribe below and hit the bell button for the new engineering tutorial video. Thank you and keep safe always everyone.